On this week's boiler tip, we're gonna talk a little bit more about sight glass replacement. Sure, we've replaced the glass in our sight glass. That's not a big deal. You pre-order a piece of glass the right length, or you cut it yourself. That's not that big of a deal. In fact, it's an important part of maintenance. But if we want to replace the style or type of sight glass, there are some important considerations. First, the manufacturer of the boiler took a lot of care to verify that the bottom of the sight glass is at least two inches above the lowest permissible water level in the boiler. That sounds like blah, 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 blah. But what that means is they're complying with code. The bottom of this sight glass can't extend farther down because we'll be in violation of that code. So it's really easy to say, hey, let's put a bigger sight glass on there. I'd like to see more. But unfortunately, that may put you in code violation. It's also important if we're revising that, that the bottom be low enough that the secondary low water cutoff trips within the sight glass. So that range has to be high enough that we're within that lowest permissible water limit margin, but it has to be low enough that we trip on the secondary low water. So in many cases, that means that we have to play with the nipple lengths and connections to make sure that we don't really increase excessively the area that we can see and that we don't decrease the area where we're not tripping the low water cutoffs in the sight glass. Because if I blow this down and the water's out of the sight glass and it hasn't tripped, I failed the low water cutoff test. So it's important for that to be in the correct range. We don't wanna continue draining or blowing down a boiler to try to get it to trip if we can't verify actually where that's at. The top of the sight glass is also constrained. We want, if there's a high water level alarm or limit on the boiler, for that to also trip within the constraints of the sight glass. So before you just order one, um, it's not bad to talk to your inspector. Tell them, hey, what, um, what do you think of this type of sight glass? What's your experience? If we want to put one on here, what model should we get? Do we have limitations? Um, because these aren't cheap, but it really hurts my feelings if I change it out and the inspector comes back and says, no, you gotta put that other one back. This one is non-compliant. So that's important. It's also important that the piping be correct. We never want to come out of the connection and have the bottom of the sight glass below the connection on the boiler because that could mean that it's impossible for the water to leave the sight glass and that's going to result in a misreading somebody's going to go in there see water in the sight glass and say hey it's safe to add water it may not be if we've got the ability to trap water below the connection on the column